Hello everyone and welcome to this new tutorial of Texas. Well today I'm gonna calculate the, the vibration of a beam. You're gonna see the natural frequency of a simply supported beam in Plexus. But before I start, if you're new to my YouTube channel and you love learning, just subscribe, it will be a great help for you. So today we're gonna see the natural frequency of a beam. So we're gonna study a simply supported beam. In Plexus, we cannot draw a beam uh, individually. We, we need to draw a soil uh, in, the, in Plexus, and then we're going to deactivate it. So this is why I've drawn a soil, and I've uh, put zero here as properties. The properties does not matter. Here, I've only put one to, get, uh, to have no error. I've only drawn the soil in order for me to draw the beam. Then I've deactivated it here in the phase one and phase two, so no problem. So now let's see the geometry. Uh, we're gonna put it in. A, we're gonna put the load equal to one kilonewton per meter, uh, which is a unitary load. Then we're gonna remove it in order for the structure to vibrate freely. So after we put the load in phase one, we're gonna remove it in phase two. I'm gonna draw a 10 meter long beam placed in the soil or cluster before we remove the cluster later. And then we're gonna put two, uh, two support. So the left edge is fully fixed, but the right edge is fixed vertically only. And it is free in the horizontal direction and a load equal to one kilonewton per meter is applied to the beam. So this is the figure one which illustrate the beam. Uh, so this is the material, the material for the beam. Uh, we've uh, mentioned before that the material for the soil is arbitrary because we're not going to use it. And this is the material for the plate. Then we're going to create a mesh, a coarse mesh, with a factor equal to 0 0.25. Then we're going to do the calculation phase. So in the phase, initial phase, we're going to use the gravity load. Since the K0 procedure is not necessary, in the phase 1, we're going to do a plastic load, and we're going to uh, turn on the, li uh, the line load, and in phase 2, we're going to do a dynamic load with the dynamic interval equal to 2.5. So I'm going to leave a PDF uh, link in it for the description box if you need to check it. So in phase 1, I've turned on the load. and phase 2, I've turned off the load. So let's see the output. So now I'm going to see the deformation and the period of the vibration of the beam. So we're going to go here to graph, I'm going to choose new graph, here you can see the deformed beam. For this, I'm going to choose time, I'm going to choose node which is in the middle of the beam, I'm going to use the Y displacement which is the vertical. And this is the period of the beam. So in order to know the period, it is a full oscillation in the in the chart. So it's from here to here. This is a period, or from here to here. So we can see in the PDF that we have the same uh, the same chart as here. It's the same. And then we can calculate the frequency from the period, which is 0 0.637. And then we can see here after a verification that we've made that Plexus give us the same, uh, the same vibration and period. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section. And thanks for watching.